said that uh, he doesn't. They want the future. They don't want to do social media. They want mm-hmm. to do metaverse. Yes. So. Uh, what will Metaverse incorporate? What are some of the applications of the Metaverse? Okay, so um, the applications of the Metaverse, mm-hmm. one uh, that is most uh, marketed, mm-hmm. uh, there, there is uh, workspaces, right? Mm-hmm. There is uh, workspaces where uh, we can have, we already have um, virtual meetings, we already have things like Zoom calls and mm-hmm. uh, and Google Meets. So what if we could incorporate uh, a virtual reality in, in, a, in a 3D space? So that's one application. So at work, basically, <laughs> I know Facebook has Facebook Horizon. Yeah, face, Facebook? Facebook Horizon Workrooms. Uh, face, so, Facebook Workrooms, yeah, it's oh, called, it's Facebook called like, workrooms. yes, it's called, it's called that. They're, they're, Meta is already investing in in uh, spaces like those where people can have 3D um, representations of themselves, have pictures, have um, brainstorms, um, present ideas in a 3D space. Mm -hmm. So you can have a a conversation about how a car could look like. Mm -hmm. So instead of just having the normal flat design, Mm -hmm. it can be presented in the metaverse as a 3D D version of itself. So you can see the whole whole visualization of the product yes oh okay yeah uh, uh what other place will it be applied another place is uh, which are very optimistic about is in schools and education mm-hmm. so as we said um uh, about things like uh, the, the 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 classrooms uh, about how okay we all learned okay i learned about how <laughs> a cell would look like uh-huh. But it is often represented on a flat surface, right? Mm-hmm. So what if a, 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 a student wants to see how a cell would look like mm-hmm. in real life? Mm-hmm. In real life and the different chemical processes, biological processes that are going on in the cell. Um, being an immersive, an immersive tool that like immerses consciousness around a 3D space. Mm-hmm. We can define we can we can define uh, the different the, the the different chemical processes on visualization. So you can see how the cell membrane would move if something like um, uh, something like uh, an anomaly something hits it. Mm. So we can visualize things like those. Uh, when engineering, uh, we, not only the flat surface but also the three D versions of of. Um, the components can be visualized in the space mm-hmm. and you can have direction by uh, a person who is even in the moon mm-hmm. you, you could be talking about ah. yeah so 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 it's 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 a whole immersive uh, immersive technology that can be applied in schools okay yeah so, so another another one uh, 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 yes? still in education yes, i'm yes. thinking of you know how firefighters are usually taught yes so that would save them <laughs> from you yeah. know you know, because if they do it in a physical location, they spend a lot because there's a lot of damage yeah, done. Yes. So now when they do it in the metaverse, yes, it it's more of a more simulation, uh-huh. more, more of a simulation, not just uh, the physical act of moving into burning buildings and maybe mm-hmm. risking your life. Mm-hmm. Maybe there are some aspects of the training that do not need the, the exposure to, 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 to harm in that manner, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, continue. What other applications? <laughs> so the next application know? that's also yeah. very exciting is uh, okay, sharing of of uh, space. Uh, let's say, uh, like in studio right now, instead of people just watching us, uh, mm-hmm. they could uh, get into a version of the metaverse that you you are a member of or subscribe to, uh-huh. and they can actually be with us as if we are in the same space. So we can have our audience. Our audience our that is online. Yes. <laughs> Come on board just yeah. in the studio. Yes. And they feel like they're here. And they feel like they're here and we can interact with them in that space. And it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's really exciting for um, people like uh, artists who, who are trying to, 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 to maybe organize events, mm-hmm. maybe um, a small intimate session. But you live, on, you live in uh, Nairobi and you have a big fan base in Brazil. So uh-huh. instead of moving there, they could move into your metaverse they space. Come to you yes, and the event, the event is, 
is held virtually. Virtually. Yes. And uh, we've had uh, some virtual concerts uh, yes, recently we, we've by uh, Fortnite Games. We had, you know, Ariana Grande, Ariana Travis Scott Travis Travis performing. Scott. Yes. So how was that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, 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 it's something that has been going on for a minute, but maybe they did not explain it in the metaverse context. Mm -hmm. uh, but the technology has, al has always been there. Mm -hmm. the, techno the, the concept of holding virtual events has always been there, but being fully immersive mm -hmm. and having the social aspect of it makes it uh, come to the metaverse conversation. And it's really exciting for uh, upcoming artists who uh, mm -hmm. not necessarily have the, 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 the funding, the, the type of resources that uh, maybe this... Uh, uh, big music companies have. Mm -hmm. So it will open up very, very um, uh, many opportunities. Many opportunities yes. All right. Yes. Uh, some other applications? So another application is uh, uh, okay, virtual, virtual land, uh, virtual real estate. Uh, so uh, that's in the real estate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So since you're talking about uh, the likes of Travis Scott and, and Ariana Grande, uh, there's also a, a famous uh, proponent of uh, the mm. metaverse. Mm. That's uh, also Snoop Dogg and and uh, and uh, Paris Hilton. Yes, <laughs> they both land. They're they're yeah. um, actually investing, building virtual spaces that uh, mm -hmm. um, really really um, it's really exciting for for people who like to design spaces. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you would want to to have a, a virtual land or virtual house. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you can you can go to the metaverse and live there <laughs> in <laughs> Avatar State. Yes, actually, so uh, you know, Snoop Dogg bought his land and then he's calling it Snoop Snoop Vast or something. Yes. <laughs> so, now, is this are these the spaces that people will be buying uh, in the metaverse for them to host uh, stuff? You know, I can buy a land and then I do virtual tours or something. Yes, so you can. From where I sit, it's not yet set. Things are very um, kind of primordial right now, very at its infancy. Mm -hmm. But I see a place like uh, the Snoop, the Snoop verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think he might be having some uh, artwork in the digital space now that brings the conversation about NFT. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, he might be having a, a, a virtual tour of his space, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, people might pay. I would pay. <laughs> would pay to I'd pay to, to, to see how how Snoop Dogg uh, um, Snoop Dogg's imagination and and uh, and uh, and life could be if you mm. if you mix uh, realities. Yes. And we had someone, you know, buying land uh, next to, you know, Snoop Dogg Dog. in December last year. So an <laughs> NFT collector spent $450,000 yes. for the privilege of becoming Snoop, Snoop Dogg's, Dogg's next neighbor. door neighbor <laughs> in the metaverse yeah. by buying a digital plot of land in his virtual world. Yeah, the, so it's, it's that expensive to buy land in the virtual space? It, it, with all the hype and all the craze about, about, uh, this whole blockchain technology about uh -huh. cryptocurrency about about nft mm -hmm. about uh, digital land of course prices are are out of this world uh, uh -huh. literally <laughs> prices are out of and this I'm, world. I'm imagining that uh, this is cheap because now it's not yet been realized people are just still new to the to the idea yes so this we can call it a fair price. It can be it's fair price. It can also be um, symptoms of a bubble. Ah. So you know, yeah, you can you can like most mm -hmm. of these cryptocurrencies that are hyped up, then mm -hmm. it falls, it falls drastically, and mm -hmm. people lose their their money in, in in that way. So you know, you can't say it's an investment as it is, but if you are really risk averse and uh, you are willing to try new technologies, mm -hmm. get in while it's still while it's still new. Yes. Okay. So, uh, what? How does NFT come into play so, in the metaverse? So, we we'll start by explaining what the NFT is first. Uh, NFT, as it is, is a non fungible token. Mm -hmm. So that's a technically uh, that's a technical word of. I'd, I'd simplify it to a digital code that is very spe that can be mm -hmm. 
can be traced back to a specific owner. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to replicate that exact, exact piece. Mm -hmm. So right? it's unique. It's extremely unique to the, mm -hmm. to the identity of the, the owner. Mm -hmm. So a person can get, can get uh, all, all art that can be digitized in NFT format. So that can be music, mm -hmm. that can be uh, a photo, that can be a 3D uh, representation of, um, uh, of any model, any, any idea, a house, um, a river, things like those. So you can you can actually buy mm -hmm. a three D version of of a house, and since you can also buy a like a, a piece of mm -hmm. a digital land, mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a, a, like a house and and everything. So maybe wall art and skins. I don't know if you know skins. If mm -hmm. you play things like Fortnite, different ah. clothes, you mm -hmm. can also get in in nft format mm -hmm. so since it is something that can't be as it is now can't be replicated mm -hmm. it's it's only unique to you and you own it okay so yeah. can we uh comparing it to the physical world yes <laughs> so we can compare it to maybe an art piece like uh that of uh Leonardo da Vinci, the famous painting. The famous painting, yes. yes of Mona Lisa. Yes. So that one is unique. It's that the is, original piece. So you, it can't be replicated. If it's replicated still, you know, it can there's be known. only one. Yes. So that's the same thing with the NFTs. So if I have maybe uh, my music. Yes. And I have, you know, digitized it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's in the digital uh, format. Yes. So uh, when I buy it from the original uh owner of the song yes so i it, get an nft it can be sold the, the piece of the, the piece of art mm -hmm. or the music as, as you've you've put it can mm -hmm. be if it's digitized mm -hmm. it can be sold in itself as as art mm -hmm. so it can be sold as an nft mm -hmm. <clears throat> that can be traced to the original owner now that also breaks down the the industry trope about how um, these big um, music companies might um, mm. shorthand artists and things like those. So an independent artist can sell their music mm -hmm. as an NFT and get, and get m money uh, off it. Mm -hmm. There is an, a, Cam a Canadian artist, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's, he's a rapper or a singer, it's, uh, he's uh, Tory Lanez. He released uh, some music uh, some time ago, and within maybe what an an hour, he'd made like a million a million dollars. Wow. That, so like right now, it's like a hundred million in uh, this very short span. And so that is <coughs> through NFT. That's yes, he released it as an NFT. Okay. Yes, it was it was I think a dollar. So he, uh -huh. yeah, he, he made some coin off it. All right. Uh, so back to the applications, what are some of the areas that you've not mentioned? I think I've mentioned the, the most significant ones. Mm -hmm. I've mentioned the most significant ones. Okay. So if a person can also um, want to invest in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the metaverse, one that's more conventional, more approachable, mm -hmm. uh, is <laughs> investing in companies like Meta, mm -hmm. investing in companies... Uh, Meta also Facebook, investing in companies that are taking the metaverse conversation seriously. Mm -hmm. So you can bet that it's going to be, the internet is going in that direction. So people like Apple are also looking into their version of the metaverse. Now there are people mm -hmm. like Microsoft. They are, Epic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, funny enough, you've mentioned um, uh, their, their online games. So that's also a version of the metaverse. That's a, so now we've talked about, you know, all the glitters and glam <laughs> of the metaverse. So what are some of the negative aspects of the metaverse that we should look out for? Like, like a lot of technology, mm -hmm. you should uh, approach it with uh, cautious optimism. Mm -hmm. Approach it with the uh, with the, 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 the look that it's going to be it's it's it has the potential of going south real real yeah, quick mm -hmm. but since you have faith in humanity mm -hmm. it will be used as a tool for good but one thing that i'm 
um, um, really consider considering uh, to be a very mm -hmm. uh, a very uh, I, I I wouldn't say negative. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just call it negative. The sedentary lifestyle that the black mirrors we have in our pockets, in our bags, in our on our on our walls, the 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 the, the, the cell phones, the mm -hmm. the smartphones, the the computers, the laptops, the t televisions that yes. we have around. <laughs> uh -huh. So imagine a world that is totally immersive. We mm -hmm. can go, potentially, we can go weeks on end without even leaving the house. Interacting with people. Yes, in the and I feel world. that will really, really d disconnect us from what is really real. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we lose track of what is important because we, we need a real con to make real connections. Yes, we might we might forget that our friends are people who we meet and we talk like you and I here, and it's something that we we sometimes take for granted in this social media space. That's right. Okay. Yes. And on privacy, how secure is it? <laughs> so from uh, uh, d during Facebook's. Uh, metamorphosis to meta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say that they are designing safety at its center, safety and privacy. So people uh, who are using the Facebook, okay, the meta version of meta, mm -hmm. <laughs> the metaverse, mm -hmm. will have an added layer of safety that is fundamental, that is at the building blocks of the whole environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say that's what they said. Mm -hmm. But since we are, we are cautiously optimistic. We are also cautious in the, in the cautious optimistic side, right? Uh -huh. So these big companies are the ones that designed the social media platforms. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've had trouble. And we have trouble with the social media networks. Yeah. So maybe we'd have to rethink of how we'd have to engage with the, this type of technology. Mm -hmm. And we do not know where it would lead us. Nobody knew uh, where Facebook would, would go. Okay. Yeah. So as we come to a close, uh, someone said, a critic, you know, said, just because you can doesn't mean you should. You should yeah. So what, what do you make of this? <laughs> Give us your opinion on <laughs> the metaverse. Uh, I'd, I'd, uh, as I'd said, uh, we approach new technology with cautious optimism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let us, just, let us just embrace new technology, but remember that we are human at the end of it. So, okay. So, yeah. so you've chosen to be, to, <laughs> to, to be in the middle ground. Yes. Uh, safe. So, fine. Thank you very much, Stanley, Thank for you. your time and, uh, you know, explain to us about the metaverse. Thank you for having me. So, can I, can I say um, mm -hmm. uh, thank you? One. Yes. Can I also congratulate my sister who's just finished from four? Yes, uh, <laughs> this is your camera. You can give you a shout out. Um, hello, hello, Joy. Uh, so congratulations on finishing your form four and we're really proud of you. Thank you. All right. So that has been Stanley Onyango, an information manager, talking to us about the metaverse. I hope that has helped, you know, your knowledge on the metaverse, which is the future. Many companies, many tech companies are already working on this metaverse. Uh, the hashtag is still why in the morning. The question we have asked you today on Facebook and our social